what's going on everybody sorry for the later video today <clears throat> as most people know i had some um furniture from when my uncle uh, uh passed away last year got it was coming out supposed to be out in like two weeks delivered it got moved it's supposed to be tomorrow it ended up today so a lot of my stuff i'm shifting around getting done today and then i'm keeping a day off tomorrow just so i can you know knock out more stuff that you know i had to rearrange in my schedule and you'll see some other different videos coming out here this week. Um, I know a lot of people are like, I, I missed the scammer video. So maybe what I'll start doing is like a weekly recap scamming video or, you know, something like that to where it goes through showing you guys what I read every day. And I, I just choose not to post it because it's the same stuff that we keep, you know, beating and beating up, I guess, in videos. But I don't like to try and do too much repetitive stuff, but. I'll start trying to do something once a week or so, and uh, it'll just be pretty much showing you guys what I breed on to the uh, scammers and people are posting and being scammed. And a lot of you'll see is redundant where people are paying friends and family and stuff like that. Or the famous Instagram scams. All right, guys, so let's get into what we were talking about here, the grading approach. And this is, like I said, my own opinion and stuff. And this is what I've been doing because I don't want to find myself in a hole by sending in tons and tons of cards to being graded. So I just took a stack that I've had growing here. As you can see, it would have been this high originally. And I've eliminated it down by probably about, you know, taking away two-thirds, not grading. And this is probably going to go grading. Um, and the reason is because there's not a lot of bang for the buck on to it. I don't want to spend $25 a card and praying that I get a PSA 10 out of it Jill, I can, you know, sell it for 50. The days of that stuff's pretty much gone. I mean, could this go to go CSG? I think how they do their names. Possibly could offhand, you know. Maybe down the road. I know they just, they're getting ready to raise their prices and stuff. So I'll see how it goes. I haven't seen a whole lot of HGA and stuff like that being presented anywhere, at least on where I go through for a lot of my cards. So this is stuff that I said, you know what, I'm still probably going to give it a shot at grading, and this is going to go into 90 stuff. You guys remember all those Griffies I got in. Even though if one does, they all come back nines, just that the overall price onto it's there for what I spent into them. Some select, Claypool is club, Eason is just concourse. Claypool Blue Club level. Kyler, I'm debating on still. It's out of 75. Jefferson, Hertz Silver should be Concourse. Burrow, I think that's Premier. Yep. Brady, and that's just out of contenders. These are selling great right now, Raw. Nolan's my own PC. This guy here, Tyler Stevenson, uh, Rainbow Foil. Possibly, it's like one of those eh, I might send in. Same with these absolutes, Eason, Tua, Eason, Eason, Hurts, Love. I don't know why I have this out. I have to try to find this thing. For some reason, I think it's like a rare or something. Oh, Hassle ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much where I've been going at. And I'm going to show you guys what I've pretty much eliminated. Because I don't want to clog upgrading, but I want to be able to get a lot more quality back. Unless they have some kind of special like it. You know, 10 bucks per, or maybe even 15 when I send these in. So you guys can see there's acres, there's an acre silver. And a lot of this stuff's probably going to go in a store or eBay or BST, wherever I can get it out to, because just holding on to way too much stuff here. And I mean, a lot of these stuff, I mean, I really wanted to get out, but at the price value it's at now, you just can't really do it. At least I'm not going to do a top and rookie. Luca was at third year. Torkelson, some Nick G's, Zach Bean Papers. Those are some female basketball. Sue Bird. These here all came out at set break, but they're not going to tend, so I highly doubt that stuff will ever go anywhere. Evan White, Trouts, some Lou Bobs, Lewis, Jordan, Laura, Nico, Rookie Tops, Carl Makino. It's a ton of stuff here, you know. Now, this is the stuff, you know, I wanted to probably send in when it was a lot cheaper. Probably should have just uh, done it because the value would have been there on it. But if I set all these in, 
and we'll just say 50% of them come back 10s and the other 50% are 9s. I just don't want to put the time and effort in to try to, you know, break even. Or even to the fact of, uh, you know, only making maybe $100 or $200 profit off a of set. And what is it? Probably about close to 70, 80 cards there. So I've been backing off on a lot of things like that. I don't know how everybody else is looking at it whenever grading starts coming back open with PSA and stuff. I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing. I'm actually going through stuff like this, and a lot of this stuff here, I'm just going to, uh, you know, stick on the website or, you know, uh, put it up for sale type deal just for the fact that I don't want to be holding it. And, you know, I get bored one day and I'm like, oh, let's send all this stuff into the grading land. Just because it doesn't make sense. And to me, it ties up too much money into trying to make very little profit off of something to where I could take the profit and buy a PC card. But that's where I'm at onto this stuff. As I said, you know, a lot of people have been asking those questions onto it before, and I figured I'd start like a small little series up on the grading and how and why I've been choosing what I've been grading. Um, hopefully it helps out someone out there with everybody, because I know it can be tricky with it. You know, you got to use your best judgment. You really got to look at current sales. And I try to, when I send my stuff into PSA, I look at it coming back as a 9. And I look at the values at a 9. So say I'm sending, spending $25 in a card and a 9 is only going to get me $25, $30. Bucks. I've been holding off on to it. Even if I'm pretty sure it's going to 10, it might only come out being $50, $60 card at the most. So I've been paying a lot more attention to what I'm going to be sending in once it does open up. Because them floodgates, when they open, I feel bad for them out there. Especially when they start bringing it back in different tier levels. There are going to be a lot of people just jamming it up. And I know they got a lot more graders in and everything else, but... It'll be definitely interesting, definitely interesting out there. But I do appreciate everybody, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will get something out at least once a week then for talking about scammer stuff for everybody. Uh, there's a new grading company just opened up. We're going to mail them off four cards. They're going to grade them. And the cool part is he's going to show in the video how they're grading these cards and, like, how they're doing surface with the intelligence and all that. So you guys are going to get to see that firsthand. And then we're going to give those cards away uh, in that video. Um, trying to think what else there was going on here. Bowman release week. Be ready for, uh, I'll probably open up some jumbos that I got. Uh, the hobby's already sold out. Uh, that's really about it for this week, guys. So... If you've seen some stuff disappear out of the store, either went to BST's uh, site or if it was somewhere a little bit bigger, I stuck it up on eBay as auctions, even though I'm against it. But I got to start, uh, you know, basically turning stuff so I can get newer stuff in and that way the store and everything stays fresh out there. So if you're looking the eBay auctions, they're out there. I think they all end Saturday night. I know some people started uh, bidding on the stuff. I, I recognize the names and stuff. Appreciate it, everybody. But that's pretty much it for the video. Just giving you a heads up what I got going on. But um, I'll have some uh, cool stuff coming out this week. Um, no card shows until May 8th. And that'll be the next one I'll be set up in Louisville. It's in a different location. Hope, I don't know if you guys seen the one that just went in California. I think it was at, like, Fairfield, or maybe that was the hotel chain. I can't remember now. But, I mean, there was a huge line. It was like a two-hour wait to get inside. Insane, and people were just standing in it. I mean, I'm hoping that, you know, Louisville gets pretty jam-packed like that this time coming up. But, all right, everybody, take care. Hope you have a good weekend. Be on the lookout for some videos. I'm going to be working on those pretty much tomorrow. If you need anything, email Email me is probably the best way uh, for today. You can hit me on Messenger and stuff like that if you need to, too. But other than that, I'm going to get some stuff done. Appreciate the support, everybody. Catch y'all later.